Um, but I think that, like, from a social perspective, uh, everybody pouring out in the streets and having a good time and saying goodbye to the grim 80s where interest rates were 20%, where inflation was completely out of control, where we would lose, like, 70 days in a row to strikes and nobody would think twice about it. There was no money. Everything was dead. Like, it was black and white and suddenly there's an eruption of colour. So I, I don't think anything can ever quite parallel that. Mm -hmm. Maybe if in 2012 in Poland the team had reached the semi-finals playing swashbuckling incredible football under Trapattoni. If they'd done the thing, if they played the way they played in Paris when Thierry Henry handled the ball, um, I think that there might have been a possibility for something that, because that was post the, the yeah, collapse. There might have been some parallels for that, but I think this is just like uh, a, a bunch of people who have disposable income having the crack at events that are every single second of it is recorded, and I think that's, that's all it was. It's interesting, though, that people and it wasn't just me who, who have been making that connection because they weren't around to see the Italian 90 bounce. Like, so, some of the people, I would say, were even younger than me and were, wouldn't even remember the 2002 World Cup. They wouldn't even remember the last time Ireland kicked the ball in a, in a football World Cup. But it's interesting that that is still the benchmark that people reach for and the comparison was out there for sure. Like, for me, I thought that had Ireland won that game against New Zealand, there, there would be no question about the fact that this was going to be kind of like a, a new moment for certainly the way in which a team looked at its rugby team or a, a country looked at its rugby yeah, team. Yeah, I agree. And I, I did find that there was people who you wouldn't ordinarily, um, who wouldn't ordinarily find any emotion in watching a rugby game, finding newfound sorrow at the New Zealand match, for example. I, I think and that's, that's I think it. This, this had bro broached new ground and uh, reached new ground in, in that regard. I think that's exactly it. I and mean, that's very well put. Whether or not it ascends to it didn't ascend to Italian 90 levels because we didn't do anything unexpected in Italian 90 we get out of the group which was a group of death and we win a knockout game on penalties and we have a a, a specific single moment two moments of Tomate and the penalty and then we get robbed by the hosts in this instance uh, we had expectations which were way higher than there were for the football team in 1990 mm. and we don't live up to those expectations. You, you can, you know, it, in the cold light of day, four months on, we got beaten by a team who we could easily have beaten on the day and we, we made terrible errors, which I think everybody has forgiven the players for instantly because largely everybody really likes the team. We didn't go scapegoating anybody after that in a way that we have scapegoated every other single failure in Irish sport, basically, with the exception of Italian 90.